guys, Susie here, and I love creating small digital products that I can sell online. Number one, they're easy to create. Number two, you have no inventory. Number three, you can sell them over and over and over again. They're phenomenal. All right, so I have one of my students that's in Printables by Number, which is the course where I actually teach how to turn this whole small digital product thing into a, a business that actually brings in an income. But she asked this question and she asked a couple months ago and then she asked again today or a couple, I think maybe last week, I saw the email again today. And I'm like, let me just make this video because it's a really fun video to create and I love to delight my students. And I'm just gonna put it on here on YouTube so you guys can see it as well. And then if you're more interested in how to turn this whole thing into an actual money-making business, definitely get printables by number. It's the course, it's in the description below. Super affordable. All current students get the updates for life. So if we ever update the course, which we do very regularly, all current students get it, which is not a very smart business move on my side. Um, but you know, that is one of my awesome things. Anyway, you guys, let's get into how to actually create a little kids worksheet um, online that you can sell either on your website, through a funnel or on places like Etsy, okay? So this is what my student asked me and she sent me this link. So she's like, how do I create these printables in this store? She's seeing really awesome printables um, that this seller is doing on Etsy, really great ideas. Our goal is never to copy what other people are doing, but it's to be inspired and kind of see what's working for them and then put it into our own niche, okay? So what the one that I liked, I'm not gonna go ahead and do all these worksheets, but they're possible to do similar things to this, um, is this kind of the matching the shapes. So on this sheet, um, there is a sheet where the parent is gonna go cut out the shapes and then the child will have the blank sheet with the open spaces and they'll go match the shapes. So it's great for a toddler to kind of learn their shapes and their matches and very tactile, right? It's really good kind of activity for them to do. So I'm gonna go through a little steps of how to recreate something similar to this. Obviously, we don't wanna copy, we just wanna be inspired and then do this for your own niche. Maybe you do it with cartoon characters or with flowers or you do it for um, a whole different niche of autistic children or whatever your niche is, you can do this. But I wanna give you inspiration to create these small digital products. Another really thing to see about this, um, this Etsy shop is look at the number of sales. That is phenomenal. So she is rocking it on here. So that kind of, you know, okay, this is doing successfully here. I'm gonna adapt this to my niche, okay? One thing my students ask a lot of is where do I actually get these graphics so I can use them? In a previous video that I did, I'll link to it below, there's a place called Daily Art Hub that I use to get graphics that you can use commercially. Obviously, this is for commercial use because she is selling it. So I search Daily Art Hub and I'm, I don't even have an affiliate link for it, but I'll link it below and link to the other video that I have on this. And I got some basic shapes, clip art. So you can see just some squares and rectangles and octagons. And then um, to make it more interesting, I added some googly eyes to them. So I'm gonna have some googly eyes on him. I can also do something maybe like a hat. Let's see if they have any cool little hats to make these shapes. Oh, but that might throw off the whole shape look right <laughs> if we put hats on them then we're adding a, a different shape to them but just to give you some ideas um add your own creativity to your own printables so that they are unique to you and your niche um, these are really cute little baker hats and another thing that is a smart technique to do is take multiple graphics and kind of combine them to make your own graphic most companies or softwares that allow you to use their graphics for commercial use or whatnot, have it in their terms that you can't have the graphics like easily extractable. They need to be combined in a, into a pattern. They need to not just show their original that somebody else can just copy and paste it and sell it again as a graphic, right? That's not cool. All right, so I got the graphics that I like, my googly eyes and my shapes. I'm going into Canva and love Canva to create printables, workbooks, worksheets, all kinds of cool stuff to either grow my email list or to sell. Um, and then I uploaded them. I also have an affiliate link for Canva if you're interested in using it. And here I have my shapes that I've uploaded and my googly eyes. All right, so first I'm gonna add some shapes to this. 
and this is what the parent will be cutting out, right? So I'm just gonna add all my shapes. So they don't have to be perfectly in order. I'm gonna try to make them easy for the parent to cut out, like at least line them up. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like cutting all over the place. Trying to make them a little similar sized. And depends on what audience you're serving. If it's a toddler, you might want to make the shapes bigger. If it's like a second grader, you can make them much smaller. You can have a section where they can write out the name of the shape if it's an older child. Obviously, you should know your niche. Okay, twist that one. Move this one a little closer so I can get all these shapes in here. I am going to select them all, move them down to the corner, give myself some more space here. Don't have the diamond yet or the rhombus, correct, right? This is a rhombus, not a diamond. Squeeze that one in there. What am I missing? I don't have a triangle. Man, when I homeschooled my daughter um, last year, it was the funniest thing. She completely forgot what the name of a triangle was for days, and I did not want to tell her. <laughs> and she's like, what is that shape? I d what is that? And she <laughs> it was really funny. She completely forgot the name of a triangle shape. Okay, I'm going to add one more square here, like a smaller square. Throw them for a loop there. Okay, so these are the shapes that they have to cut out. I'm going to add some googly eyes to them, to my shapes, and I'm going to add a little mouth too. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a second. Oops, I think I want to do that. Make sure I use all the googly eyes. Because right, shapes are just more interesting if they have eyes on them, right? Okay, it's going to take a while. I might speed up this section. All right, now all the shapes have eyes, and I'm gonna, <laughs> this is my job. Um, and <laughs> I'm gonna add mouths to them now. So I'm just gonna take a little circle and, <laughs> and give them a little black mouth. But I want it to match exactly the color of the eyes, so I'm just gonna do a little match there. Go back to my black. There we go. Okay, that's a better match. Otherwise, it's like just a shade off, and we don't want that. Okay, now I'm gonna give all the little shapes mouths. <laughs> okay, so now we have our shapes, and they are looking super cute. Okay, so that's the cut out section. I'm just gonna try to center all of them for the parents so nothing is cut off. Okay, now we want the worksheet for the child, which would be the one with the empty spaces. Okay, okay, and I am going to now delete the eyes. I wanna make sure I'm keeping the same shapes but they should just be the outline. So I'm not gonna exactly have the outline because um, then I have to have this shape and this outline. I could, um, if I spend a little bit more time, try to find an outline of these shapes or just for the ease of this tutorial, I'm just gonna make their transparency much lighter. So then this is the background sheet where the child will have to paste on the right shape. Okay, so, I could either keep it all in one sheet, I can make it two sheets to kind of have them loop around, or I can just change, well, I mean, the, the mom's gonna cut them, or the parent's gonna cut them out anyway, so they won't be exactly in this order anymore. So on this one, I could either move them all around, or I could just leave them as is, because they're all fitting right now, and I'm gonna add a title that says, match the shape, 
add that to the top. And what if there's like a child one or a kid one? That looks more fun for kids. Okay. I might do this one on here as well, just so that the parent knows these two worksheets go together. All right, so super simple, very, very easy to create something fun like this. Um, then you would export them and um, upload them as PDFs and then start selling them. If you need to know more of the details, obviously, of how to turn this whole little printables business into a full-time gig, then go to printablesbynumber.com or the link is below. Again, this is super fun to create in Canva. And just imagine you create a whole packet of these awesome kids worksheets and then you bundle them together and then you can sell them over and over and over again. And you can seasonalize them and cater them to different grade levels. This is just one kind of example of what you can do with this awesome superpower you just learned. Anyway, if you need to know more, check out the links below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.